Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is a little bit different. It's fresh, a little bit lighter. I did do it myself at home and today I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of what I did, how I did it, my own kind of like balayage highlights. So let's just get right into it. Just before we do, if you're not already subscribed and it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe. I usually post twice a week, but make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you never miss an upload. Um, and if you are enjoying this video at any point, give it a big thumbs up and also comment your thoughts and your feedback down below. One more thing I wanna mention is that it is important to do a consultation. Even though it's like your own hair, it is important to just kind of like assess your hair, see what colors you're working with, um, and kind of get a good idea of what it is you want to do to your hair before you even start. Get a plan, figure out what it is you're doing, um, what look you're going for, and what your starting point is. It'll really help you get a better results if you are gonna do something like this at home. This is not my advice, this is just me sharing what I did. I am a licensed hairstylist, but I do know how careful you have to be when you're lightening your hair at home. So please, if you are gonna do something like this, be careful and just take this video as entertainment only, not as like hair coloring advice because I just, would hate for any of you to ruin your hair by watching one of my videos. So so I just want to throw that out there. This is just my experience and what I did personally to lighten my own hair at home. But please be careful if you are going to try this yourself. And with that said, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I recorded pretty much the whole process of me doing it, which this is all just like in my bathroom, but it does give you guys a good look at what I did. Um, and just like all the steps that I took to get my hair like this. So basically what I did is like balayage highlights. Um, I kind of did a combination of techniques because one, I wasn't exactly sure how this was gonna turn out. And two, it's usually, you're usually more guaranteed a better blend if you kind of mix multiple techniques. At least that's what I find. So I kind of like mix a few different methods, a few different like lightening balayage methods to kind of make sure that I got like a really soft, blended look because I really didn't want any like harsh lines or just I didn't didn't want it to look like I did it myself you know what I mean <laughs> even though I am a licensed hairstylist I still accidents happen and it is hard to do your own hair at home so but yeah so I did my own kind of like balayage highlights and I'm starting off by showing you guys how my hair looked after I prepped it I didn't get any footage of me actually prepping it but I will tell you what I did so as you can see, it's in braids here. What I did is a couple of days before I actually wanted to do this, I co-wash my hair and also just gently condition it so that it would be prepped and well moisturized without like being weighed down by any heavy products. And then just put a little bit of um, leave-in conditioner and the tiniest amount of jojoba oil just to make sure my hair was moisturized but again not being weighed down by anything too heavy and especially with oils it can really like mess up the lightening process so didn't want to use too much of that then i just braided my hair into these two reverse french braids um it's a good way to just keep my hair protected i guess for a couple days so this is when i'm taking the braids out and getting ready to start lightening so the first step was to section my hair. I did four sections, really neatly sectioned with a comb. I don't normally do that, but with color it is a little bit more important. So section them nicely and then section them all away with some clips. And then after sectioning, I mixed my lightener. I used some Wella Blondor lightener. This was just what I had on hand, so this is what I went ahead and used. And then I mix it with 20 volume developer to get this nice creamy lightener mixture. 20 volume is a good um, developer to use if you're not really sure and you're kind of worried about damage. It's good because it guarantees you'll get at least two levels of lift without really damaging your hair a lot, unless you like leave it on for way too long, but don't do that. You shouldn't do that no matter what developer you're using. So once that was all mixed and I got my kind of like desired consistency, it was time to start applying it. So like I said, I did a combination of a few different techniques. In the back, I took two diagonal back sections. I'm struggling to remember my like hairstyles terminology, forgive me please, but two diagonal back sections. And then I took a slice out and weaved 
through it with my comb or the tail end of my comb so that I was kind of only lightening half of that back section and I was taking like pretty small sections. So I weaved it out, back combed it a little bit, which is just another like way to guarantee some blend. Applied the lightener all the way down the strand and then folded it up in a piece of foil. And these are actually foils made for lightening hair. Just want to put that out there. And then repeated that same thing on the other side. So that was probably one of the main techniques I used when I was doing this process. It's kind of hard to like reach the, that back area of your head. So that's kind of the easiest way to like make sure you're getting a blended look um, while still being able to like apply it properly. Like you can kind of reach and apply it properly that way with that angle, if that makes sense. So I did that for a lot of the back sections. And then on some pieces, I also just kind of like freehand painted them. And then the other method I did was doing like a V shape, which I would say is like the balayage technique. So painting each side kind of like all the way up the strand and then in the middle kind of staggering lines of lightener and blending it all at the end to like fully saturate the end. Kind of confusing like to explain it in words, but you can see in these clips how I'm doing that. So I did that mixed with the weaving method. I took like different sizes of weaves. Again, I was really paranoid about the blend I was gonna get. So I tried to just keep like staggering pieces and doing like different amounts so that it would all just blend seamlessly. That was my goal. But yeah, just basically repeating all of those things all the way throughout my whole head. And then once I got closer to the front, I felt like some of the pieces at the back might need to be taken out. Um, that can happen if it takes you like too long to get to the front or if your hair just processes really quickly, um, the pieces at the back or wherever you started first, those pieces can lighten quicker than the amount of time it takes you to get all the way throughout your head. So that did happen to me and I just went back and pulled out whichever foils I felt like were done processing, they were light enough already. And to do that, I just kind of pulled the foil out um, scraped off the lightener which by the way it does like puff up after it's been processing so it's like really thick and it feels kind of funny scrape that off and then spritz it with water just from a water bottle and then kind of dry it with a towel and that's how I can make sure that those pieces are not gonna process anymore they're not gonna over process meaning like damage my hair or just get way lighter than I needed them to be so I made sure to keep doing that as I was getting closer to the front and even once I was finished, um, I like came back every five minutes or so just to check on it and just pulled out any pieces that I felt like were already processed and they didn't need to be processed anymore. Also really didn't want to damage my hair during this because I've been working so hard to keep it healthy. It's been growing nicely and I feel like anytime my hair starts growing, that's when I always do something to damage it. So I was very cautious this time not to damage my hair and that of course helps. So once I was done applying the lightener, I put a plastic bag on my head, which looks crazy, I know, but it does trap some of the heat in, especially for like those top sections that I had finished later. I wanted to just help them speed up in processing a little bit. So I put a plastic bag over my head and I let it process for about 25, 30 minutes, I would say, from the point when I like put the last foil in. So then after that time, I took all the foils out rinsed my hair and this is what it looked like. So now I had this like crazy yellow stripey looking hair. That's always the scariest part when you're lightening hair. Um, it's yellow, like pretty much no matter what you do, it will come out yellow because that's just the underlying pigment in our hair. 
Um, so yeah, so to fix this crazy yellow hair, of course I had to tone it. So for that I used Joico Lumashine. It's a demi permanent liquid color, which means that it will only deposit color into your hair, not lift it, which basically means it only will deposit color into the parts of your hair that are lighter than whatever color you're applying. I hope that makes sense. So with my hair specifically, I had pre-lightened it to, I would say about a level seven or eight. And the color that I chose for the Demi Permanent Toner was a mixture of 6N and 7N, plus a little tiny bit of 8N. Um, but that being said, I knew that that color was going to cover over the uh, lightened pieces that I just put in, but not affect my natural strands. It's very important. So I mixed a combination of 6N and 7N with five volume developer. The five volume developer is also very important because this is the lowest volume developer. And again, we're only trying to deposit color or tone in, not um, lighten. So we don't need anything too strong. Five volume is perfect. So after mixing those two with a one-to-one -one ratio, I applied that to my hair. I just used a squeeze bottle for this. It's just a lot easier to apply it that way. I kind of applied it in a halo shape, if that makes sense. So I kind of avoided these front pieces until the end because I didn't want them to get too dark. Um, usually it looks a little bit better if these pieces at the front are lighter, if anything. So I just applied it like kind of like this. So all the way down to these back strands. And then eventually I came back to do the front pieces and then the very ends as well. I made sure to really saturate this. It's really important that your hair is fully saturated for this because if it's not, you could end up with splotchy pieces or pieces that didn't get toned at all. Um, I just like to make sure my hair is really saturated for the toner because it's just better that way. So once I felt like it was fully saturated, I got enough color on there. I just kind of like wrapped it up into a pile on top of my head um, and then let it process for about 30 to 35 minutes, um, which is the max recommended time. But I wanted to make sure that it really like toned my hair. Um, the tone that I was using was just a neutral tone. So there's neutral and then there's cool and there's warm and mine was just neutral. And since my hair was so yellow, it would have been probably more ideal to have something with a little bit of ash in it to counteract the yellow or like the warmth. But this is all that I had on hand. So I was just trying to do the best I could with what I had. This was a very last minute color, by the way, but it worked out. So, so after the 35 minutes was up, I rinsed it out. Um, I did another co-wash on my hair just to make sure I got all of the color out. Um, and my hair was clean, but again, not like stripped clean, but not dry, if that makes sense. And then after this, I actually did a deep conditioner. I used my Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Mask. And I actually, <laughs> I was doing this at like eight in the morning and I had to leave the house at this point. So I just left the deep conditioner in my hair for like two hours while I was out of the house, which is not a bad thing because basically the longer the better with the deep conditioner especially after your hair has been through that big like kind of dramatic experience with all the lightning and then with the toner it's just a lot of like chemicals and just things being done to it so i decided to just leave the deep conditioner on until i got back home so it was it ended up being about two hours and then once i got home i rinsed it out and i decided to straighten my hair so that i could really see the color so i did like a full proper straightening normally i just cheat and i'll just like wash my hair maybe blow dry but maybe not um let it air dry and then i'll just go back in with the flat iron after once it's fully dry but i decided to do like a really good blow dry so i ended up um sectioning my hair again blow drying it first with a paddle brush to kind of like smooth it out and get rid of any excess moisture then i went in with a round brush and actually like fully sectioned my hair I used heat protectant by the way. Blow dried my hair with a round brush to get it like nice and voluminous. I don't have a lot of footage from this, but I did blow dry my whole hair. I think I have a few pictures of how it looked after I blow dried it. It was okay, but it was so hot outside. I literally went outside right after I finished and it was just like, poof. so I'm like, okay, I think I need to go over with a flat iron. So I ended up flat ironing it after all that blow drying work I put in. And then I don't have any clips of like how it looked immediately after. I think I do have some pictures. If I do, I'll insert them here. But but yeah, ended up straightening it and this is how it looks now. Keep in mind, it has been a few days since I actually did it. It's not as like perfectly styled as it was, <laughs> but this is how it looks. I feel like it is a pretty like neutral, but kind of still warm um, color. 
So I think if I were to do it again, I would have done something a little bit more um, ashy, just a little bit. Like I do like more of a beige tone than gold, just because I feel like it's a little bit more flattering for me, but I'm not mad at this color. Considering I was very limited with what I had to work with, um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'll show you guys the back too. So yeah, that is it. That is how I lighten my hair. Um, I like it. It's just a little bit lighter for summer. It's a really similar tone to what I had before, just like a little bit less golden. It was starting to get like a little bit orangey, the old color that I had. Um, and I also just had like so much old regrowth, so it was just like dark and then light, just like on the ends. So I really just wanted to like lighten it up a little bit more um, and just really get it like blended and just like nicer, like more of an actual color instead of just being like grown out. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And now I'm probably due for a haircut also, but we will do that another day. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, just kind of seeing like what I did to my hair, how I did it, um, just like the whole process, what I used, all of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this. Um, let me know what you think of my new hair. How did I do? If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below. I love chatting with you guys there as always. And again, subscribe if you're not already. Also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, all of it's linked in the description. And one more thing, let me know what color you're going for for hot girl summer. Are we going lighter or darker? I went lighter, but I know it's like kind of a thing to go darker in the summer too. But yeah, let me know and yeah. I think that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.